A year ago today, I was at the same 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 area. We flew in, we had just come from overseas and we were supposed to hit the stage. It was like maybe 40, 50,000 people out there. And my DJs, turntables, equipment, all the music, the sun roasted everything. It's cold out here today, so there's no problems. I had my DJ out here since eight o'clock in the morning, so I had like 35,000 people. <laughs> they hit me on Twitter like, man, fuck you. You could have did one song. You could have came out and beatbox, but I'm, I'm a professional and I, 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 I'm a perfectionist about it. So for them to bring me back to Outside Lands is, is redemption for me today. Not really, not for me, because that wasn't my fault. My DJ fucked up. I'm going to do what I got to do today. So we here today going to give them about an hour worth of high power music. We're going to have fun. It's going to be all worth it. But that was like an incredible story. Um, people asking, how does the DJ still, still work with you after that? Well, he fucked up by $80,000 and he's still paying that tab off and he'll probably be DJing for my kids after I'm gone. You feel me? And that's what's going on here. The only thing that halfway saved me was Dave Chappelle was here and walked out on stage and let the crowd know it wasn't my fault. It was the DJ fault. We put everything on DJ. He was nervous. Like I said, he paying an $80,000 tab and I'm shit. I'm, yeah, he'll be DJing for all my kids if I'm not here <laughs> to pay that tab off. So yeah, we, we having a good time. We about to go rock now though. Yeah?